let's move on, Robin. This is related because it it is another superstar athlete, another all time great complaining about the perception of her. Um, and Simone Biles, and she was interviewed. You know, she finished with the bronze medal in, in the event she did compete in at the Olympics in Tokyo. And she was interviewed afterwards by Mike Tirico. And uh, she gave a strange answer to uh, one of his questions uh, about battling through, you know, the challenge and, and, you know, winning the medal and all that stuff. And here it is. Can you share with us the loneliness of being expected to win and hearing that you're the GOAT all the time, but still having to go out and prove it time after right. time after time? How hard is that? I feel like it's hard, um, but it's harder being a female athlete because, you know, everybody prays for your downfall and wants you to mess up and all of that stuff. And I don't think they take in consideration of our mental health because what we do isn't easy or else everybody could do it. But also at the end of the day, we're not just athletes or entertainment. We're human too. And we have emotions and feelings and things that we're working through behind the scenes that we don't tell you guys about. And so I just think it's something that people should be more aware of. I'm sorry, Rob. I, you go because I can't do it. I, I can't. I'm, I'm destroyed. It is I'm not. Listen to me. It is not harder being a female athlete. It's just not. Now, if a female athlete wants to say we don't get paid the same amount of money as men. Then they're spot on. Yes. But, but there's a reason for the most part. It's because your sport doesn't generate the revenue. Except it's for the women's soccer. That's well, that's where thing. they got right. the one argument. Yep. The women's the, U.S. soccer team, which generates more money than the yes. men, should make more money. No doubt, Chris. I'm with that's that. the one. Am I right? That's yep. it. I don't want to hear a WNBA player right. talk about we don't make what the NBA players make. Because you don't generate, come on, a fraction of the money. I mean, that that's even being kind. And so... It is just not harder because there's not as much attention on your sport, so there's not as much scrutiny, okay? I have never in my life seen a female athlete in any sport of any kind get the type of criticism LeBron James gets. Not not even close. Never in my life seen a female athlete get the type of criticism Kevin Durant gets. It just doesn't happen. And so I I don't know why in the world she threw in female athlete. Because, Rob, that, that is just factually incorrect. There, I say it all the time. And, and look, and I and I I look through the eyes of other people. So I look through the, I try to look my best to look through the eyes of an athlete. And I got to admit, it would be hard for me to have shows on every day. And a lot of times they're criticizing us. That's not happening to female athletes. Get up, first take, around the horn, uh, PTI, undisputed, uh, uh, the herd, Uh, First things first, speak for yourself. They're not talking about female athletes. They're talking about male superstar athletes every day, and a lot of times it's critical, sometimes even unfairly. That, that, it's just not the equivalent. So to say, and then to say there are people praying for you to fail, what? Right, right. I, I mean, is there an American that didn't want Simone Biles to do well? Who? Or any female athlete in, that was representing the United States not to do well? And here's I the other thing, too, wrong. Chris. Uh, let's just, if LeBron James did pulled out of the Olympics and he said he real. couldn't play or the NBA Finals or whatever, oh, I can't play, I'm just, uh, he would have been crushed. It would have been absolutely I mean, crushed. destroyed. And instead, Simone got nothing but sympathy and understanding. She, you know, did people crush her? No, they didn't. No. There's a difference. And the other thing, too, I think often, and I'm not saying all the time, Chris, a lot of times, too, and, and you could tell me if I'm off base, 
But even the female sports writers are there in support mostly of the female athletes. I don't, I just, you know what I mean? So they, they, they just, they're not going to be overly critical or trash them or I, I just don't see it. Do you? I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know what their motivation is. Um, so I don't I, know that they're. I'm look, just saying I'll I don't say this, see Rob, it. In I, I general, don't it. we don't. We aren't very critical of our female athletes. That's what I'm saying. We just aren't because it's just not like the, nobody treats the WNBA like they treat the NBA. I mean, largely because it's just really, to be honest, not really on people's radar. Right. Right. And we're just not critical of those female athletes the way we are men. Now, Serena gets some criticism. I would say that, and maybe that's because female, you know, women's tennis is huge. It's and she's also probably gotten a as lot big of as male as tennis. Well, right? Like, like but I don't I, think it's heavy-handed. You hit it on the head, Rob. I mean, if LeBron pulled out of the an oh NBA Finals game right before just because he wasn't feeling good, you know, wasn't feeling but, like himself, Rob, we can say LeBron wasn't feeling like himself before they played Dallas some of those games, those last right. three games, right? He played through it. And he got crushed for it and had to sit there after they lost, largely because he didn't play his game, and answer those questions. Yep. And he, he, he did it. And so if he had, you're right, if he had pulled out, if Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers or somebody pulls out of a game right before, they will get destroyed. Now, I do we, agree. We saw, with today, Jay, Jay, we saw with Jay Cutler in that playoff game, Chris. You remember right. he got hurt? And, and, they, well, we, they, and we saw it with Scottie Pippen with the Scott, migraines. I was at that game at the Palace. I never, I, at that time, Chris, I thought he would never recover from that. I, he I got really did. Buried, destroyed. And, and look, I'll admit, even when you go back to the Cutler thing, which was, you know, what, I don't know, within the last 10 years. Right, right. It, uh, the culture, the society has gotten more sensitive and more. Then, you know, then right, people were ripping health. them so, from yeah. their couches, right. Right, if it happened, if a male athlete pulled out right before something, there would be many that try to understand and, and be sympathetic and all that, but there wouldn't be as many as looked out for Simone Biles. There would be a lot, and I know there were a couple, our Doug Gottlieb I think was critical of Simone, there were a couple, but there would be more critical of a male superstar athlete. And it, that's just a fact. And, here, and here's where I, I want to say this before we go close, Rob. She said there are people praying for us to lose. Rob, I can only think, because, again, it's not really coming from the mainstream media. They're not criticizing Simone Biles like that. I got to believe, Rob, that that is from social media. And I think a lot, like, they, yeah, they I'm lump sure us she, all in together, yeah, right? Yeah, and I don't. And she didn't say, you know, the regular media or social media. But my point is, the only way she could really, I think, the only reason for her to think people were trying to root against her is because she may see some negative feedback on social media. And you know, studies have shown that it take for every one negative comment you receive there's different studies but some say you need five positive comments to outweigh that negative one or mm. seven or nine it varies but the bottom line is we respond more we we focus more as human beings we tend to on the negative comments about us rather than the positive ones and so my my only explanation Rob, for her saying that is that she has seen some vitriol on social media, and she takes that to feel like, oh, so many people are against me. She even said the other day she sees a few tweets and you feel like the weight of the world's on your shoulders. So that's probably where she got that notion from. But it's not, Rob, I, I can't think of when I've seen a mainstream media really be critical of her. And again, there were a couple here, but for the most part, there was overwhelming praise and for her being strong. Right, and, for her you know, to be like, able to come out and, right. and do that and, and whatnot. I totally agree. I agree.